All right, we're on a short par three here. It's 138 to a front fly. Looks like we're a hair into the wind. Bunkers on both sides, so you know, most likely where Josh will be. But I think he's gonna hit a nine. I might hit a nine as well because it's front flag. It's probably a pitching wedge, but I don't want to be short of this green. Depends where Josh goes. To the right, it's drawn back. It looks deep though. No, it's freaking two feet. Almost zipped it in the hole. Oh, it's coming back. Man, we <laughs> made that. It zipped back though, so it was maybe it 20 it. feet. I really thought. Yeah, I we. Did. He thought that was ace cam. <laughs> Definitely thought that was ace cam. <laughs> All right, what do you got? Nine. I got a nine. Probably a lot, very chippy. It's a lot of club for me. Yeah. So. Honestly, bro, I'd go wedge and just hit it. I want to. I want to be on the green. I'd rather be on the middle. <laughs> oh, it's it off the right. Uh oh. The bunker. Uh oh. Oh, he's out of the bunker. Never a doubt. Is there green over there, or is that? Um, yeah, but not a lot. You might be chipping. Not a great swing, but that's why I hit the nine, so I'm not in the bunker. <laughs> So Josh has did it. You can see he's right there. So it's perfectly pin high. But he's just this front slope of the green, zipped it back. He's just so pure. But he's got an uphill putt for Bird. Good spot. I actually stayed on. I'm over here on the right. So that's why I hit the nine. Pitching wedge probably would have been in the bunker. So I'm smart. Honestly, this flag should be more of a white flag. Like I thought it was. I thought the flag was like right here. So Josh is saying that he should be in the hole because the flag was misleading. That's what I'm getting from this. <laughs> I think I'm out. You gonna let me put first? Uh, are you? Yeah, go for it. Definitely. Out. Out. Yeah, for sure. Get in, please. Oh, I'm gone. Stop. <laughs> Another great putt. A great line. Bad speed. Again, now I gotta work. Oh, I got some meat on that. Crap. So, all I gotta say is that for the first four holes, it was the course's fault that Brandon couldn't get a putt there, and now he's over. I think the whole point was uh, Brandon was it was Brandon's fault the whole time. You know, the course warmed up out here. The greens got fast. Oh, now they're the greens are too fast now. <laughs> In the hole. Mm. Woo! All right, pick it up. Now I gotta make this. Oh, that was for a two, folks. That was for two club time right there. And uh, if we don't make a two today, go check out in the heart podcast. Talks about the two club. Brandon's in it. I'm in it. Pretty dope. Northern California chapter. We got over 200 members. A lot of fun. Let's see if we can get Brandon to make a par here. I kind of don't want to win the hole this way. I really hope he makes it. Nice putt. Thanks. All right, we survived. We survived. I think we both even right now? Or am I even and you're one, I think one over? Because of that uh, last two holes ago. Gotcha. Well, all right. Of course, I haven't played before. Just gotta roll the pie. I've missed about three putts I could have made. I'd be two under right now. So, woulda, coulda, well. woulda, coulda, shoulda. No, I know. So before Brandon started, he said he looked like a grip and a ripper hole. Kind of is, and it kind of isn't. Um, for the guys that hit it between 260 and 280, it is for sure. Um, but if you look down, the tree on the right and the tree on the left both come into play if you are a longer hitter. So what I'm going the to do... The oak tree does? Yes. How far is this hole? Uh, not far, like 340, 360. Oh, I'm not a driver. Um, I'm but what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit a punch driver, oh. try to get it rolling, and it's one of my more accurate shots. So I'm going to try to just split the trees and have a wedge in. All right. Is the goal. I can agree that Josh does have a very impressive knockdown driver, so see if he could do it for the folks on TV. Well, it's going right. 
kind of right of the oak tree. Is that going to stop? Uh, it's kind of went right toward where the cart path is over there. I don't know the course, but it's not mad, so. We'll see. From the oak tree, it'll be fine because I can get a wedge over it, but I was not a fan of that pass right there. What's Brandon doing? You getting three wood? Yeah. Not a bad play. I know people get all concerned with like trying to have a wedge in all the time, but honestly, if you're being real, if you can have eight to nine iron in all day, you're not doing anything wrong. Play from the 150 mark. Honestly, if you're not comfortable hitting a nine iron, <laughs> you got a lot to work on in your game, in my opinion. <laughs> I got a good feeling about this one. I think Brandon's gonna pure this. A little downwind. Someone's gotta have a good feeling. <laughs> oh yeah, it was pure, but it was a little left. Hopefully he won't have a tree in his way, but Honestly, it just looked like you swung down that way with a square face, like you just didn't leave the face open to cut it. Lame over there? A low key, but not really. Hit that I mean, great. Yeah, it was pure. Last one, we're thinking he probably hit the down slope, maybe a little dry stuff, because he ended up hitting that three wood like 285, which is back flag, so. very solid. 290. Actually, yeah, 290, because it's a back flag, so very well struck wall there. But now he's got how much? to a back flag it's a bad number for me my sand wedge only goes like 1 105 and my gap wedge goes like 120 so honestly i try to hit the sand wedge hard because you are downwind and out of the rough good that's fair i say go with your gut i'm gonna try to put my gap in the front of my stance lean back and try to hit it higher i learned this shot the other day see if i can perform it Gotta love it when he's checking the club before he pulls the trigger. Gotta love that as someone playing against him. Oh, if it gets past the bunker, it'll be good. Didn't even get to the bunker. So that was an absolute donkey. I, I hit that like it was hitting the chip eight iron. I don't know. <laughs> I it was the right swing. It's just Josh is right. Should hit the sandwich. I didn't know how hard to swing it not have this tree in my way, but I'm gonna have to hit a really high pitching wedge. It's 120 to the back flag, I gotta go over the tree. Went over it. It's on the back right of the green, maybe the back fringe, but that's not bad at going over the tree. Our Brandon grabbed his whole bag to take with him. I'm pretty happy with mine. Hit it pin high. Over the tree. Definitely more of a feel shot. Got Brandon over here. You know what? We're not going to talk crap about him right now. I'm not trying to kick him while he's down. Because if anybody has played Wilcox, they know that the back nine is going to do that for me. So I'm just trying to keep my boy happy right now. Definitely setting up for a little bump and run here. Going to try to just get it right over this bunker, land it on the green, and try to pull off a miracle here. Not bad, didn't carry it far enough, but it's not bad at all. He's definitely got a realistic shot for part here. Got about 12 to 15 feet. Not bad, considering. It's really, really tough to flush such a, not trying to pick on you, but such a bad shot from, with a wedge in your hand. 
but he was able to flush it, folks. He flushed it, moved on, and he's going to you know, try to knock this in. Second time today, I overthought I overthought a shot for no reason and got bad result again. It's hit the sand wedge, be here, a little short in the green, and I'm fine. And I try to do some weird shots. Playing dumb. I'll make this, though. I like it. I love the confidence. If I get the speed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Josh has got, I don't know, a 25-footer for birdie here. He was pin high. Looks like it's gonna be breaking left. He's due to roll one in. He hasn't rolled a putt in yet, so. So there's a good chance he makes this one. Here it comes. Here it comes. There it is, folks. I just told you guys that he was gonna make that. Great birdie. Hey, Very uh, nice. Good. I'm good. Yeah, good part. Oh, Josh is giving me the par. <laughs> Um, right now, the match goes, I'm two up. Um, I told Brandon I'd give him three strokes on the back. This hole is very kooky, very weird. As much as I love this golf course, I hate this hole. Um, I'll show you with these guys. So the conventional way to play is to hit a 200 yard shot, dead straight, let it go down, and you have like a 40 yard uphill shot to the green. It's crazy. But what I'm gonna do, since I'm giving Brandon a stroke on this hole, and we're doing match play. The line to the green is right over that bench. He's going way left over here. Do you guys see the bench is? I don't know how he's even gonna get a driver that high that fast. So that's where I'm gonna try to go. I'm gonna try to drive this green because I'm gonna have to with how Brandon's been hitting his six iron. I'm hitting a six iron off the tee. I don't know what is going on. <laughs> so this should be interesting. I don't know how he's gonna get up that high that fast. But clearly he's played the course before so he knows what he's doing. Is it really good or? Oh, you just hit it straight as an arrow. I got a feeling that that's perfect. I don't know, but that's a straight as ball. That's a little right. That's a little right. Oh, that's a straight as ball I've ever seen Josh hit. I would have loved to hit like a 10 yard draw off that same line, and that would have been perfect, perfect, but I think. We'll show you when we get up there how close that was to being good. But like I said, with giving a Brandon uh, stroke on this hole and it being match play, like it's no big deal if I make it eight here because it is what it is. I don't really care about my score today. I just want to beat him. Yeah, I missed this maybe a tee shot with that practice swing felt money. <laughs> Oh, that's really good. Back here. Yeah, that's perfect, bud. Where I wanted to go. Your tee struck my foot. <laughs> hey guys, check this out. We're freaking in a good spot right here next to the 100 yard marker. 95. But it's straight uphill to the flag. Like, look at this up here. And he hit his driver. This dude is crazy. 95 yards playing about 105, I'd say. Okay. Well, I'm just going to with my sandwich and hopefully I'm in play. <laughs> but let's, let's, uh, folks, let's talk about how good of a caddy job that was by me. Doesn't even know what he's doing and I'm being a good guy. Be like, hey bro, just hit this shot right here. You'll be fine. And look at him. Middle of the fairway. Almost hit the 100 yard marker in the middle of the fairway. That's my elite ball striking, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the two. scares me. Long is better than short, look, as you can see with that hill. Enough? Uh, maybe. Barely. Barely well, enough. A little right, but I hit it pretty good. Yeah, you should be fine. Either, either very, very easy chip or putt. Hey guys, we are at the green and we don't see Josh's ball. So Brandon low-key might have gotten a free hole because if we can't find it, I'm not going back. And my good wedge shot isn't on the green either, so I could be, I don't know, it looks like it might, might roll down the hill. This Josh is why, could be this anyway. Is, why I said is that I a ball? No, that's not a ball. Is that a ball? No, 
No, it's like a weird plastic thing right there. Oh, I'm okay. I'm right there. You have no idea where Josh is. He said, I don't know this hole. If you hit it straight, it's an arrow off the tee. Well, couldn't find the ball, folks. It was really disappointing. Um, if I were a betting man, I'd say that it... Oh, be quiet when Brandon goes. Not a bad chip there. Really good. Go in. Nice. Um, I would bet that because the course is a little wet right now, it probably landed somewhere in this hill area and probably plugged. Mm -hmm. And that's why we don't see it. I've hit the, I've hit that drive enough to know where it should be, where it shouldn't be, and how well I hit it. And that's just my guess. It's probably in the hill somewhere, plugged. Oh well, with a, with a stroke on that hole, Brandon made par anyway, so I would have had to pull something out of my butt. So he probably would have won regardless. Probably not the hole you should have gave me a stroke on, in my opinion. Well, I feel like it was really kooky, so. You know, you know, if you don't execute that tee shot, though, you definitely would have needed the stroke. Yeah, but was it a number one handicap hole or something? No. Probably like number 14. It was so short. Well, you might be in many ways, but he tried to give me the pity stroke. This hole goes hard to the right. How hard? So, right here, do you see this V in the trees? This first tree right here? Like the V right here in between the trees. See yeah. what I'm talking about? That, yeah. that dip? Go straight at that five ten yard cut. That's the green. I'm not doing that. All right, well, I'm doing it. Where's the fairway over here? You have to hit blasted over those trees over there. Over those trees? Yeah. And it opens up to the right more? Yeah. It goes hard right. We're gonna watch what Josh crazy shot he hits. Way right. That'll be okay. That's fine. Yeah, that'll be. I mean, I'll find it. It's not perfect, but I'm it's so fine. confused. <laughs> All right, let's swing. So I'm saying, man, this back can get real tough real quick. Pray for me, guys. Pray for Condor. See, that's not great, but it's fine. Like, that'll be okay. Oh, wow. Never mind. I thought it was going to be perfect. That was, actually, honestly, that might have been the tree through the fairway. You hit that really well. I had a great swing. I hit it well. But what did he do? He hit a 20-yard draw instead of a 5-yard cut. 10-yard draw. <laughs> yes, I drew instead of cutting. That is correct. If he had cut it, it would have been more than perfect. Just now that we're here and found Brandon's ball, what did, what did he say about cutting it? What did you say? If I cut it off that line, that would have been pretty close. Yeah, that's what I thought. If I hit that well. 76. 76 yards. I've had this number before. Don't remember the results. We have the technology. <laughs> oh, look how pure that was. Neat. No, it's perfectly pin high, just that's a little left. Bad. Left. Good shot. I can't aim these wedges right now. Not Josh's best shot, he's pin high to the right. It's a little tree in front of him, he's got to get a little low. But he's good. he's got a good short game. This is where he thrives. Sure. Me up. I'm about to chunk it. Look at that, great touch. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. Oh, oh that kept rolling, wow. Great shot, about six feet. Uh, Eric Loesch, Bidwell Park Golf Course, short game lessons. <laughs> He's the truth. The truth. All right, so Brandon's here. He's got about a 20-ish footer. Slides a lot. This is an easy putt, I can tell. It hit hard enough. Not short. bad. Oh. Not bad at all. Good par. Another great line. Yep. That was just left a hair short. 
Yep. Good par by Brandon there. I'm gonna try to break his break his heart here. Alright, he's got a nice easy putt up the hill. Looks like it breaks a little right. Probably just gonna hit it firm right in the cup, knowing Josh. Oh, it lipped out. It break. How does that not go in? That's oh. rough. Josh bails me out. We tie the hole. That's why I didn't need the stroke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so my phone, which is what we're recording with, is only at 30% right now. So we're going to have to try to minimize the talking so this phone can survive through the back nine. Josh is still one up. We're on hole 12 here. It looks like it's a big dog leg left. Is that correct? Yep. So after this hole, I'm not going to give you guys a whole lot of detail, but it's par five. And we're gonna get after it. Okay, guys, we're gonna let this guy behind us play through. He's just a single. He's been flying pretty fast. In the meantime, Josh had this at his house. Hexagenia in IPA. It's a double IPA. It's a pint. I haven't eaten anything. I'm gonna try and drink some of this. This may or may not go well. Um, maybe I'll just pour a little bit in Josh's water and get him drunk. So we gotta try to catch up. <laughs> this may or may not help us. But it's cool looking uh, beer cat. Nice and straight, right down the middle. Ooh, it looks a little that deep. Through the fairway. What club do you hit? Three. Mm. Boom. Damn. We almost got it by I know. That was a, this is one of the very few times Ooh. where right now, that is wow. most likely a member, and I can't get upset because I work here. <laughs> I am definitely going to give him shit, though, when he gets over here. Josh is trying to get in my head, so he's telling people to hit golf balls at me. <laughs> oh, field advantage. Uh, if he hit it bad enough, that should stay short of the going through the fairway. Uh, you'll have to lay up. It's Honestly, it's a three-shot par five anyways, so... What happens when you get hit by hit out with a golf ball? <laughs> Spot here. I can't slice it like Josh can. I can only barely. I can punch it out here, 60 yards. Because if I do open up the face, I'm gonna hit the top of that tree. But luckily, per our agreement, Brandon is gonna get a stroke here, so he actually kind of has a, a free shot, honestly. <laughs> I mean, it is low key. I'll try to cut it. Where is it? That was terrible. I'm too far. Too far? All right, Josh was okay in the rough. He's just going to lay up. He's going to hit a cut out to the left. Oh, or he just goes right over the tree. Would you hit like an eight iron? Seven. Right over the tree. He's solid. At least I think. So again, I was a good guy. We're about 200 out and 12 here at Wilcox is super firm. Uh, they had to, our wonderful superintendent, Josh Westmoreland, was able to save this green a couple of years ago. And we're still, he's still slowly getting it back. Doesn't want to push it too hard, but it's still a little firm. Um, Brand's going to hit six. I got a weird lie. The good news is it'll roll. Yeah, it'll definitely roll if he gets it there. Because this is kind of buried a little bit. If I catch it clean, it's going to roll like crazy. Uh, it might be a little left, but I don't think you're going to hate it. Hit a solid. Oh, oh what a bounce. That might be in the bunker. I piped that. It definitely went 200 yards. Right the tree popped out to the left. Josh just chipped up to a foot. Couldn't find my ball. I thought we should be in the bunker. It's probably gone. So I'm just going to concede the hole. Josh made par. I don't know what happened. I thought I would be pin high right here. We never found it. So, that's what's going on. Leaks out to the right. Oh, 
Oh, good ball. Getting up and down for par. I can feel it. It's gotta go. It might. Stop. Oh, now it needs to stop. Not bad. Joshua for birdie. It's good. I'll tie the hole. Great putt. Ooh. Had a baby. I wasn't expecting that. Nice. Making the last four interesting. Big rider. Josh is hitting the driver. A low slicer, but what do you want to do? Is that fine there? I don't think it's far enough. Okay. I would have liked to hit that farther. Right. Brandon going with three. Missed the tree and it's perfect. Yep, it missed the tree. It's perfect. Might be too good. No, it's perfect. Green. Oh, that looks good. Stay there. Oh. Right, the flag on the front of the green, but you're on. That's like a 50, 60 foot putt. That's yeah. dummy short. 142 into the wind. Brandon's got nine. That was pretty standard, actually. Yeah. He usually expects to hit this pub 150 into the wind. It's going to be a little firmer on the green, so the wind's going to help soften it. I think this is the right club. Should hit it pretty close here. Ah, left it out right. It's coming back, though. He's putting. Not bad. Not good. Josh has got like a 60 footer. Hit it. Oh, all right. He's about eight feet over there. Really good from 80 feet. So I left myself a, a tough little putt here for par. Brandon's got his for birdie. I feel like I feel like he's gonna get it close here. Yeah, if that doesn't go Damn. in. Oh, sit. Sit, boo-boo. Sit, boo-boo. Yeah. This is a tough green. This is one of the tougher greens on the course. Come on. What a terrible putt. All right. <laughs> Whoever doesn't three putt will win. Yep. Granted, one of us doesn't three putt. It's a sweeper. Big touch. Yeah. He's going to slide for sure. Just missed it low. Mine's a little easier to put him up the hill. Yep. I guess I three putted from 80 feet. Oh well. Should have hit it closer. Mine's makeable. Hit it firm. It's a little left of the hole. It should go in. Oh, not short. I didn't hit it. It was perfect. Ah! Brought up a good point. I still need to give him a, one more stroke. So I'm gonna give it to him on 18 and put pressure on myself to try to end this match before then. Oh, what a bad swing. Uh, bad swing, but not a terrible result. Got a really good bounce. Chipping a putt, pretty thin high. Josh blocked out to the right. Never shot him down. It was pretty bad. Never mind, you can have a stroke. Josh is over here in the dirt. Green's over there. It's a tough shot. Yeah. He'll punch it. I'm 
went straight through, carried it over the green. He actually flew onto the green, just went deep. It's a good try. All right. Not yours for a birdie, but you win the hole. Okay. Uh, my phone's dying, so I'm just gonna putt this real quick. And I'll go to the next hole. I won this hole. All right, Brandon's got the tee here from winning the last hole, par three. He's one down, three to go. Oh, it needs to draw. It needs to draw. Hopefully the ground will help it. Yeah, it might be far back enough that the trees won't fuck with it. Go with the driver as well. A little right of where I was, a little low cutter. Uh, knocked on the tree, but I think it's fine. It's been the second shot, it's 179 from the rough. A little nick the tree in front of us, but it looked like it was going straight. Could have come oh, down. Oh, it got there. Oh my gosh, that looks like it's super close. Wow. Hey guys, so we only have 2% left on my phone, so there's a good chance that uh, we're going to die and not get the rest of the holes. Josh did it close, but there's three holes left, so we're just going to assume that I'm probably going to win. We'll let you guys know when my phone comes back live what the results are, but there's a good chance I'm going to win. <laughs> Oh, and he still somehow got on the green? What is this nonsense? All right, guys, so we're at 1% one, 1 battery life. Um, we just finished 18. I wish you guys could have showed it. I came back. I was He birdied the hole we left you on. What was that hole? 16. 16. Josh birdied. He rolled it in for like 20 feet. So I'm down two with two to go. 17 to par five. I come back and birdie, and he pars. So I'm one down at the last hole. And the last hole, I hit it to like 10 feet. I end up par, and he bogeyed. So we ended up breaking even. We ended up tying. So I didn't beat him, but we tied, so. He tied me giving him three strokes. Okay, he gave me three strokes, and of course I've never played before. And he's a better golfer than me. I'd say that's pretty good, all right? Cut me some slack. Next time we play, you don't have to give me any strokes. But uh, that's it for us guys. Thanks for watching. Oh. Um, thank you, Wilcox, for getting us out here. Shameless plug, Perfect Golf. Get up Perfect. check out the In the Heart podcast. Um, make sure to like and subscribe, guys. See you next time.